fancy hearts and neon lights The playing with my mind Gotta get out of here tonight Oh, I wanna run off, I am flawed And I'll tell myself it's fine to be alone Just to find somewhere that finally feels like home Oh, oh, oh I hate all this overthinking Oh, 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 oh The more I swim, the more I'm sinking First off, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has supported me through this whole process and everyone who has bought me baby stuff from my registry. It really means a lot to me. Also, I just want to thank everyone who came to my baby shower and everyone who has supported me through social media. Now, before I reveal the name, I just want to give you guys a few hints so to see if you can try to guess it first. If everything else in this video has not been a big enough hint as it is, here is the first hint. A huge, well-known sports star has this name. This second hint. 
His middle name is actually after a classic Japanese anime that is really well known. It came out in the 1980s. It was actually based on a dystopian society after a nuclear war that supposedly took place in 2019. So it's kind of ironic that I got pregnant in 2019. The third hint for the baby name is it's only two syllables. So it's a very easy, very short name. The fourth hint for the baby name is I have never met anyone in my life with this name other than famous people, which I've never met. So I guess that doesn't really count. And the fifth hint that I'm going to give you for his name is that his initials are going to be TAP. T-A-P. Try to use your brain and figure it out for a second. <laughs> try to figure out those clues. Try to use all the cues that have been in this video so far. And without further ado, let's get right to the baby name reveal. So I just want to say thank you for watching the video. The third trimester update will be up very soon. I still have to film it and upload it, so I'm answering all of your questions from Instagram, the people who asked them. Also, make sure to leave a like on this video, make sure to subscribe, obviously, and leave a comment in the comment section letting me know what you think of this name. If you don't like it, too bad. I'm not changing it. Like, why would I be like, oh, you know, this person hates it. Let me change it. Like, no, <laughs> that's not going to happen. So if you have anything negative to say, I would say keep it yourself, but no one ever does on the internet. So if you don't like it, don't name your kid this name. Cool. Even better. I actually have a small story I have to tell you guys. So I gave like a name hint on my Instagram a couple weeks ago, but it wasn't the first name. It was just, well, I threw in a small hint for the first name and then a major hint for the middle name. And this girl blows up my DMs. This is a girl I've known since like 2012. Like I've known this girl for a long time. And she's like, my daughter is half Japanese and I would never name her something like that. She's like, this is a human. This is not a cat. <laughs> just like went off on me. And then she blocked me. Like that is the most petty thing I've ever experienced in my life. Like, you're literally blocking someone because you don't like what they're naming their baby. Because <laughs> that totally makes sense. Um, but for anyone who wants a little bit more of a backstory, Akira actually means bright in Japanese. So it's just another word for bright. A lot of people are like, it's a girl's name. It's not a girl's name. It's a boy's name. Look it up on Google. I don't know what else to tell you. Also, I want to add that I'm making my son his own Instagram, so I'm not flooding my personal account with baby pictures and baby stories if people don't want to see them. I know that can get really annoying if you're not into babies. So I'm making his own account. Also, for some reason, there's a huge glitch going on on my Instagram and it will not let me switch from a business account to a personal account. I've tried everything. I even emailed Instagram. They're not helping me. That's annoying. And with that being said, that means I cannot put my account on private as much as I want to put my account on private. My son's account is actually going to be on private. So creepers and lurkers and people that like stalk my stuff that don't actually like like me or that are really negative. I don't want them looking at pictures of my kids. So anyone can follow that account. I just have to make sure you're a real person. I do have a lot of people that watch my stories now on fake accounts. I would say it's like my ex or someone, but there's actually like a handful of people doing it and I can't pinpoint who's who, so I just don't even bother blocking them anymore, but I don't want that on my son's account, so. No people with zero followers and stuff will be lurking my son's account. Also, the last thing that I'm going to add is that I know a few people keep asking. I get asked this a lot. My due date is actually in January. The due date is January 28th. My birthday is the 29th. He could come on my birthday 
but I kind of have a feeling my body can't handle this anymore and he's probably gonna come two weeks early or something. I'm really hoping for an Aquarius, but he's probably maybe gonna be a Capricorn. I don't know. At least he's gonna be a 2020 baby, so that's all that matters. <laughs> So with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video, which will be my last pregnancy update before I probably give birth, which is crazy to think about. So if you want to follow me on social media, all of my social medias are going to be linked in the description. So you can follow me on literally everything. I'm kind of like a big deal on TikTok now. No, I'm just kidding. Also, I'm going to put a link to my son's Instagram in the description. So if you want to follow my son on Instagram and see pictures of him and stories of him, you have to go follow him. So go do that. And I hope you guys all watch that video and I will see you guys in the next video.